Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today, we're in the shop. Which that You know what that means. You know that means we're working on something. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the Subaru. We're going to be wiring up the top and front lights. I'm going to build a complete wiring harness and hook it up to the Blazer light management system. And we're going to check that out, make sure that all works. And if I have enough time and I'm feeling froggy enough, we are going to install the rock lights that I originally bought for Project Babe on the Subaru because they're too short to reach where I wanted to put them on Project Babe. So what we're going to be doing is building our own wiring harness. I, I got wire, big old thing of wire, so I can keep my colors the same off of Amazon. I'll show it to you here in a second. 100 foot of heat shrink wire and the solder connectors, when you heat them up, they solder a set of crimp connectors so that everything's nice, watertight, and a really good solid insulation. And everything looks nice and neat and very professional. So right here we have our wire and all very many different colors. Every color we should need for this insulation. Our 100 foot roll of heat shrink tubing and our 250 piece connectors, solder connectors, solder and seal connectors. Um, this is gonna be a pretty simple installation. You need really for this job is to disconnect your battery, a screwdriver for the terminals on the blazer kit, and a heat gun, and a pocket knife, or a sharp knife, so you can cut the heat, heat shrink tubing, and a pair of wire strippers. So I'm gonna get started, I'm gonna get my battery disconnected and start trying to figure out how to run the very front ones. And I'll see y'all back here in just a second. All right guys, so I made a little bit of a mistake. I bought too small of heat shrink. And I also noticed that I'm not gonna be able to use the uh, solder connectors for the lights because I don't have anybody to hold them and try to put six wires into one and then run the rest of them, or sorry, two wires into one and try to melt it while holding two and one and the heat gun. I just can't do it by myself, which is fine. I use crimp on, they work just as good. And I'm gonna wrap the wire up with some electrical tape until I can order the proper sized heat shrink tubing, which is fine. Take a couple days to get here. I can undo it from the thing, slide it on there and it'll be good to go. Front, I've got my front all installed. See it running here. The zip ties I will cut running here, here, and black to negative. The red is for the actual white light. So we're gonna, it's on the 20 amp, and then on the five amp, we've got the amber ring. I haven't tested to see if this works. Uh, I'll test it all once I get the top ones on. All right, guys, here's the moment of truth. I'm going to reconnect the positive terminal and we're going to see if the lights work. Alright, so this should be bottom amber. That should be top amber. Okay, so those both work. This should be bottom white, top white, top white and amber. Bottom amber and bottom white. So as you can see, they all work. Working off of our blazer light system. That's blazer light system that seems to be working perfectly fine. So we got it all connected and working well. And to hide to do this wiring, I wired. Those two lights in series, these two lights in series, they run down this bar over to here, down back behind here, through this rubber grommet here, down, tucked into the rain channel under here, and then to the battery. So that all seems to work really well. Of course, the car's not running, so I'm not going to run them very long. They're not really ever going to be run very long. They're more for an aesthetic kind of look, take pictures and stuff like that. Redisconnecting the battery. 
because I think I'm going to attempt to hook up these rock lights if I can get them figured out. Hook up these rock lights if I can get it all figured out. Do the four wheels, the front, and probably the back. Might put one in the engine bay instead of the back. We'll kind of see how far the wires reach. They wouldn't reach on the Dodge or Project Babe. So hopefully they'll reach here and do everything I want them to. I'm going to get to kind of laying this out and see if I can figure it out. And we'll pick back up here in just a second. Guys, it turns out that we're not going to be able to install the rock lights on this car either right now. I'm going to have to get some extensions for the wires. They're just too short to reach the back wheel wells and where they have it connected. They're really built kind of crappy and I guess I should have spent a little more money on them and maybe they'd work a little better. But we didn't get those installed. We did get the lights working finally. All my wire and stuff come in from Amazon. You now all that stuff's been backed up with COVID. Remember to always put your tools away. That's what I'm doing now. So you always know where they are. But we got all the lights run. They work. When it gets dark, I'll give you a good shot of them tonight. I'll lit up on the car, what it looks like inside and outside of the car. You know, they were just for fun, to make the car look cool. And you don't see a lot of cars with off-road lights on them. And now these are functional. And all I gotta do is push a button, and they come on. Which is super cool. I don't know what I did with the button. Anyway, I'll catch up to you guys tonight, and I'll show you them. And we'll end the video there. Alright guys, I'm going to give y'all a look at the lights. It's now dark enough that you'll actually be able to see something a little better than you could in the shop. I'm going to give you a shot of inside the car through each function and then outside the car through each function. So, here we go. Guys, I know y'all can't see just a whole, whole lot out there, but here is the bottom amber on. You can see them shining out there. And the top amber on. Outside the hood, pretty good, but you can actually see really well. All right, guys, so here you go. It's pretty dark out there, as you can see. So here's your bottom amber, top amber, bottom and top amber, bottom white, top, top white, bottom and top white, and bottom is the top of the amber on. doesn't really change anything. We're gonna run through the same sequence outside of the car. So here is your bottom amber, top amber. I'll uh, say top amber. Top amber. So it's bottom and top amber. And then bottom white. Top white, bottom white and amber, top white and amber. And even when the amber goes off, you can't really tell. And we're going to do a little comparison on the building or everything over here. So, bottom amber, top amber. Bottom white, top white. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Y'all stay frosty and I'll see you next time.